a robo hand is helping lives, Amazon might have a 3D effect smartphone. There's a gadget called Log Me Once where you only have to log in once and something called iFi. It's April 18th, this Sunday is Easter and you know, I used to be able to finish a Cadbury cream egg in like five seconds. Now those suckers take me like an hour and a half. Yeah. What was a terrible afternoon for a carpenter after accidentally sawing off his own four fingers of his right hand, yeah, not your typical day, turned out to be a moment of innovation. He pretty much knew the surgeons weren't going to be able to save his fingers, so right after it happened, the man named Richard Von Oz was already putting his mind to work on how he could fix his own hand. True carpenter. With the help of mechanical effects artist Ivan Owen, a prosthetic hand, the Robo Hand, was soon created for Von Oz. Realizing how quickly the robo hand configures to the hand, finger, or even arm once it's attached, the team of two knew they had something amazing. They use a process called additive manufacturing, and once the body part is printed, stainless steel and aluminum are added to form a tailored prosthetic for the customer to assemble by themselves. They started the company in 2012, but Robohan recently came back into the spotlight due to its immense popularity around the world now. Because the company is open sourced, so nice when people do that, over 143,000 downloads of the software have been counted, and the company is currently on an eight month waiting list for customers who want the prosthetic made for them. The gadget I'm going to talk about next is right on time. This heart bleed bug crap has really pissed us all off. By the way, if you need more information about the heart bleed bug, please refer to partspeople.com for a full report on it or my previous episode. Back to the story. A USB stick called Log Me Once lets you stop the headache revolving around identity theft and remembering all your frickin' passwords. LogMeOnce is a multi-purpose password manager with a military-grade encryption service made to not only store and keep your data, but also act as a password vault and a phone charger. charger. By consolidating hardware and software, it essentially unites all your passwords, user IDs, web accounts, and USB drives. Additionally, the USB stick gives you access to the LogMeOnce website an online dashboard for managing your privacy and your passwords. This way, you take out the worry of mentally memorizing all your personal passwords to each website. The USB interface has a generous 16 gigs of secure space and the Kickstarter website is currently asking for only $135 for the gadget. So Amazon is close to showing off its very first smartphone and we've been hearing about it for a couple years now at least. Well, we know it's coming now because the internet told us so, and it's going to have limited 3D effects with head tracking. Think of it as a Nintendo 3DS, but tilting your head around to use the three-dimensional functionality. I honestly don't get it. This will either do just fine or bomb, man. I am just not sure who wants their phone to have a 3D lock screen, 3D interface, and app icons. Oh, and the phone's apparent five front-facing cameras are the secret to this. One is for video chatting, while the other four are placed on all corners of the smartphone to detect your head movements. We don't know too much else about it, except it will run some version of Android, similar to something you find on Amazon's tablets. Its display is noted as 4.7 inches across, smaller than what's been popular recently, and also a smaller pixel count than the new standard at only 720p. The Wall Street Journal also says the 3D is going to be very limited right out of the box. So sometime this June, I guess we can expect for Amazon to announce their very first phone with a million cameras and possible 3D fun, or nauseousness creator. What? I have a Nintendo 3DS and I never turn on that 3D stuff. Makes me feel like I'm gonna barf. Lastly, a present that Daria definitely wants. 
iFi is a company known for providing Wi-Fi enabled photo storage cards for virtually any digital camera. They start at about $45 on Amazon and make it super freaking easy for the user to transfer videos and photos simply by Wi-Fi rather than plugging in, uploading them, and then importing them into your computer. Because that's way too much work. But that's not the news now. iFi has created iFi Cloud Storage Service. With iFi Cloud, photos are automatically uploaded to the web, then synced to the user's smart devices. It's so easy. You know that moment when you capture such a grand photo and you want to show it off immediately? I mean, I guess you can on that teensy weensy little screen, but this way the photo is already out there, uploaded in a microsecond and ready for you to turn on that beautiful gadget of choice and show the family the high resolution photo. Does it not seem like all digital cameras these days should incorporate such technology into them? I mean, some have Wi-Fi, but not many, definitely not the older ones. So, use the iFi SD Mobi card, which range in cost and storage sizes, and also use the free iOS or Android app, and also get 90 days of free iFi cloud service. After that, it's 50 bucks a year. You know what's interesting that I just learned? The Google driverless car has only encountered two accidents. The first, it was rear-ended at a stop sign, and the second, was when a human was behind the wheel. Thanks Reddit for all those times I need comforting information. And thank you for watching. New episodes up every Friday. I'm Daria and this is how I sign off.